guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Box, and today we are going to be talking about how to calculate your RSP contribution limit. So first things first, I just want to say that there's an easier way to do it than to calculate it yourself. So the best thing to do is to actually go into your CRA, my business, oh, sorry, not business account, your personal CRA account, and actually go to the saving and pensions area and then you will see the limits over here for both your RSP and TFSA. So that's the easiest way to find out what your deduction limit is. Also, you can check your notice of assessment. So in your notice of assessment, there will be something that looks like this and then you can see exactly what your limit is for 2022 as well as 2023. So these numbers are obviously made up so they will not make sense. I just put them here just so you have an idea of how this will look like. So take my advice instead of trying to calculate it yourself, just go in your CRA personal account or check your notice of assessment and you'll find it there. Now if you want to do things the hard way, right, and you want to calculate it yourself, it's easy if you're a T4 only employee because it's just 18% of your earned income, okay? Earned income. This is something, this is different um, if you have other types of income. Let's say if you have capital gains and losses, those don't really count towards your RSP limit because it has to be earned income. Now, what is earned income? So, Per the CRA's definition of earned income, it is employment earnings, T4, self-employment earnings, T2125, business or rental income, right? So this is why I said just do it the easy way. This is how you actually calculate it. So we'll go to step two just so you can see. Yeah, it's not fun. So <laughs> that's why I said just go in your CRA personal account or check your notice of assessment because this is a headache. So let's say that you are an employee because 90% of people are just T4 employees. They don't have any other types of income like rental or business income. For this purpose, we're just going to say you are a T4 only employee. You have no other types of earned income except for that T4 income. Well, then your life is going to be super easy because all we're going to do is take your T4 income and multiply it by 18%. So let's say it's 80,000 per year, right? Times 0.18. This will be your limit for the year, right? However, right? If you earn a lot of money, it is limited to up to $29,210 for 2022. So for the purposes of this example, let's say you earn $300,000 a year, okay? And we'll multiply it by 18, it's 54,000. But again, the limit is only up to 29. So even if the 18% is 54,000, your limit will still be 29,210 because it is capped. Now, another easy way to do it, not as easy as just signing into your account and then seeing the actual numbers, is trying to use a calculator. I've tried different ones. This one was the easiest to fiddle with. So again, like what I mentioned, let's say you earned 80000 for the year. It's only up to 14400 And let's say you have unused contribution room from previous years because you didn't max it out. So let's say you have 12000 from previous year. So 14400 plus 12000 that would be it right now things get more complicated if you have you know this registered pension and there are adjustments etc you're gonna have to do that here but again i'm just giving the example for like 99 percent of people so don't take this as this is like oh this is your contribution limit this is what you have to do everything is specific to your situation so that's why i mentioned the best thing to do is again check your notice of assessment right? Because if you calculate things wrong, well, then you could be penalized by C the CRA for over contributing. But if you follow what the CRA says, which is basically 
it's already in your notice of assessment, then you can't be penalized for anything, right? So I hope that was clear. If you guys have any questions, please comment them down below. But again, I show you guys the easiest way to figure things out. I don't want you guys to have to go through this, <laughs> you know? So once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you always get notified whenever I upload new videos to my YouTube channel. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books.